Randy, you uh, have the same heart for equipping the body of Christ in 603 Witness. So tell us about um, what you've been doing with that. Yeah, well, um, I, this has been terrific, you guys. I've been really uh, enjoying hearing uh, all of your initiatives. And um, I want to talk to you uh, about a movement of evangelists. Um, the 603 witness. And, and before I even get started, I just want to thank you, Dick, for your leadership. I just uh, really uh, appreciate all that you're doing for the body of Christ. And, um, you know, when we, when we look at New Hampshire, uh, we've already uh, admitted, you know, we're last place in the nation. And so um, I'm a business guy. Uh, so forgive me for using business language, but um, New Hampshire is a turnaround. Um, my specialty in business was turnarounds, uh, and, um, and we're a turnaround. You can't get any worse than last place. Um, and so to create a turnaround, uh, what do you need to do? Well, first off, you need to admit <laughs> that, that you're a turnaround. You got to admit it. And I, I, I know there's a lot of people around the state who just absolutely hate hearing, you know, we're last in the nation. I don't want to hear it anymore. Well, that's the first step. We got to admit it. It's just like a 12 step program. All right. You got a problem. You're last place. We got it. We got to start from there. And then what do you do? You got to consider what kind of changes are going to need to be made. And, um, and when we, when we consider uh, what change needs to be made, um, I'm hearing, at least I, I, I think I'm hearing, that you guys have heard from God that evangelism is the word you've heard. Uh, that when you've asked God, what do we need to do in New Hampshire, I believe you've heard evangelism. Um, am I right about that? Can I get some head nods? Is, that, is this correct? Okay. All right. All right. So, so if that's why I'm on this call, uh, uh, because if you weren't interested in evangelism, I'm not your guy, but you know, so I came this morning, I was uh, just planning yesterday to just talk about all the cool things about evangelism, the joy that only evangelism evangelists seem to kind of get uh, the fact that when we have a great offense, this was talked about in the, in the prayer, you don't even need a great defense. Uh, that the greatest show on earth is watching God work, that faith builds immensely by being an evangelist, and that evangelists get each other. We kind of, we, we, we get each other. We know what, what's driving us, and that we need to build a community of evangelists together. And all these great ideas that we have for already uh, starting uh, an army of evangelists. But uh, then God woke me up this morning, and, uh, and I have some questions for you from him. Um, and and uh, uh, so the first one was, have you heard from the Lord? And, and you've already answered that, yes. You've heard that we need evangelism in this state. Uh, the second one that I just, I want to I wanna ask is, um, you know, are you truly interested in building his church and not your own? Um, I, I'm, I'm coming out here. I, I, honestly, I'm a pastor myself. All right. Um, I got this tiny little country church in, in, in the, in the sticks of New Hampshire. And, um, but, but are you truly interested in building his church and not your own? Um, are your calendars and your budgets filled with activities of catching fish or are they filled with activities of helping the caught fish. Um, you know, I, I mean, if this was a business, and I know it isn't, I never want it to be, and I don't ever want to be the CEO of, of Christianity, but I'll tell you what, if it was, I would wrestle from you control of your budgets, and I would strip them down, and I would start putting a priority, uh, and I'd take your calendar away from you, and I'd start stripping that down so that we would get there. On to evangelism. And then, so the next question is, are you willing to leave the 99 and go for the one? Because that's what it's going to take. We've heard this morning that we've got a lot of amazing things that we're doing, but most of them are not actually evangelism. And so the very first thing, I mean, they're, they're necessary pieces. I'm, I'm not taking away from that, but they're not actually evangelism where you're going out and you're catching fish. And so we need to build a team of, of evangelists together. Um, and so I have a couple of asks. Um, I want to gather 
a community of current evangelists. I want you to be able to fund them and buy them the Bibles and the tracts and the clothing and whatever they need and release them. And, and not from your oversight because they work for the king, not for you. We need to build statewide systems where we can plug people into. Uh, and I realize I'm out of time, Dick, I'm sorry. So, so there's a lot to talk about, but let me ask you one last thing. Is there anybody here who's willing to help uh, Dick and I and Paul and Paul come together and just and just build this thing out. We need to build it together. Hallelujah. Thank you, Randy.